truth for life. October 24th, Songs of Deliverance. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Psalm 32 verse 7. If you watch old black and white Robin Hood or King Arthur movies, you will see queens who ride through battlefields on horseback. They don't go alone on their journeys, but mounted soldiers ride all around them, surrounding them with protection. On difficult days, we can remind ourselves that God will command his angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. Psalm 91 verse 11 and that he has surrounded us with a band of others who are following Christ's banner namely our church the Christian life is meant to be a corporate journey not an individualistic one we have the benefit of rallying together for the cause of Christ we are to surround ourselves with those who provide shouts or songs of deliverance. When we worship together, we experience the benefits of the deliverance that God provides for us. When we are disoriented by life or acutely aware of our flaws, failings, discouragements, and doubts, the antidote is not to try to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. Instead, we can look at the wonders of what Jesus has done and make sure we are hearing from brothers and sisters in Christ what Jesus has done. With the help of a simple hymn book alongside God's word, we can encourage one another through the darkest of days by filling our minds with truth through song and scripture. Alec Moitcher once said, or once wrote, when truth gets into a creed or hymn book, it becomes the confident possession of the whole church. With words deeply rooted in theology, we can daily tell ourselves, He is all I need to get through. Then in the company of God's people, we can worship together, asking our Lord for grace and peace. A living church will always be a singing church. You are not meant to worship as an on an island. This is part of what corporate worship is about, to be surrounded by songs of deliverance. You are wired by your creator to stand in the assembly of those who affirm to you as you affirm to them memorable words like these. Sing, O oh, sing of my Redeemer, with his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt, and made me free. Psalm 147 Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcast of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the numbers of the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the beasts their food. And to the young ravens that cry, he, his delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him in those who hope in his steadfast love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he strengthens the bars of your gates. 
He blesses your children within you. He makes peace in your borders. He fills you with the finest of the wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down his crystals of ice like crumbs. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and rules to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his rules. Praise the Lord.